What it do? What it do? What it do? What's happening to the mob? Peace to the kings and the queens, the gods and the earths. It's your man, 9 million. I'm back with another little quick vlog. I ain't really got nothing going on, man. Um, I'm trying to think what's been going on. So, as y'all saw in the last video, I got sent home. They sent me home because... Somebody uh, was in the comments and they said something about um, FMCSA be tripping. I, really, they do, but this is not an FMCSA type thing. Um, I did know that this gig wanted you to have three months uh, on your uh, medical card. And I was told if I didn't, then there's no worries because they'll pay for me to get my, um, to get my medical card updated. So they sent me to go get it updated, but I had disclosed to them about my recent my my recent past um, medical issue. So they said I need to get my personal doctor to sign off on some things and um, yeah, get a medical card that way. So I had to come back to Memphis. Um, yeah, that was it. it. Was just a little precaution on their end. They didn't want to sign off on some things that I didn't have all the way clear yet. So I got all the way clear. Got my medical card. Now I'm able to move forward with the business, with the business. So yeah, that's all. No biggie. Um, just a seven-hour drive. Um, since that time, I have gotten in touch with my recruiter, and they got me a rental. I pick up the rental tomorrow, and I drive out the day after tomorrow drive back to texas so i am in town early monday morning to go pick up my truck on monday so i still get to move forward man i just i uh, had to push it back a few days actually i could have got started today they were gonna give me a rental um last night and then i would have been um i would have drove out and been there for early tomorrow this morning to be able to get my truck but I stalled out and I told them, no, let's just do it on Monday. So now I at least get the weekend to spend with the fam these last few days. And, you know, the weekend spend with the fam before I get on the road. Because once I hit the road, I'm on the road. man. I ain't going to be coming home for a little while. So that's my science behind that. That's what it is. That's what it was. I'm trying to I'm scrolling through these uh, comments, see if there's anything else I need to address. Somebody asked Jiggly. <laughs> Jiggly him up. 1122 so how are you how are you getting your first truck um this was five days ago you asked that so hopefully you watched my last two videos then you'll see how i got my truck i'm definitely not getting my own truck just yet i'm not buying my own truck just yet and i'm not renting my own truck yet i'm leasing the truck through Hirschbach. So, so yeah i'm wishing you the best Grand Rise and preach 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 uh let me see as long as it's not super ego, I'm guessing you're assuming um, talking about me leasing a truck because I didn't. It was four days ago, so I didn't um, disclose the company, and I am not leasing through super ego. But I am curious as to why you say hopefully it's not super ego. So get in the comments, man. Let me know. Reply to this or reply to this message. Um, I'm curious as to you why you say no super ego. I can be real with you. I don't like the the, <laughs> the name of the company. Uh, everybody got ego. I definitely got some ego. I don't know about a super ego, though. I sound like that. Fuck you up in life. <laughs> uh, let's see. So you made the right decision. Maybe it's the... uh, I'm just scrolling through. What the fuck plane? Airplane. Yeah, so I see a couple different uh, comments about the airplane I was in. Yes, that was a little ass plane. That's why I pulled out the camera to show y'all. I thought I was gonna be, once I pulled up to the airport, I thought it was gonna be like, um, like one of those small jets or something. But I was wrong. It was a propeller plane, like a motherfucker. <laughs> they have you on a propeller plane. And somebody asked what type of plane it was, and it was a Cessna. I don't know what number of Cessna it was, but I'm one of the type of people that when I get on the plane, I look at the little card on the back of the seat. And reading the card, it informed me where the exits were, um, fire extinguisher, as well as the name of the plane, which was a Cessna. Wasn't too bad, though. We definitely didn't get high up in the air. We, I mean, 
I think as far as high as we were off the ground, I think I could have flown my drone that high. Maybe even higher than that, to be honest with you. Said Mr. Randy, my man is keeping the channel very interesting. Can't wait. Anyway, proud of our guy being here from the very start. I appreciate you, G. Straight up. As you know, you've been around a long time. You know I've been having some ups and downs and um, dibbling and dabbling in some different things. I, I'm now on, back on my path that I originally planned for myself. So, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, man. Thanks for being part of the mob for so long. Somebody asked, nice video, bro. It's PTI, a force dispatch company. Just curious about that. Um, yes and no. As a company driver, it's definitely force um, dispatch like anybody else as a company driver. Um, but they do have a lease. You can lease a truck from them. And that is not, not force dispatch. Um, I don't have a whole lot of information on the lease other than you need to have at least a year experience before you can do it. So once I found that out, I, I just really stopped asking questions. I figured, you know, I started asking those questions once I get a year under my belt. But I'm not one of the type of people to stick around and just wait for one option. I always keep my options open. By doing my research, I found um, Hershbach. I'm, I'm really liking Hershbach. I'm liking what they're talking about. I feel confident in my decision. Um, obviously, time will tell, but as of right now, everything's on the up and up. They take care of me. They took care of all of us. Like they gave me different options to make it to the um, to make it to the orientation. They put us in a nice hotel um, that had breakfast, and they paid for our lunch, and they paid for our dinner while we were there. So, and on top of that, like they sent me home, and they paid for it. So. They were going to give me a bus ticket. I ain't going to tell you. I ain't going to lie to you. And I'm like, nah, what's the other option? She said, well, we can give you $180 towards your travel home. So I found a, um, a rental. So, yeah, seems like a good company, man. It's still, still like, obviously, they still giving me a chance, even though I wasn't able to make it through as quick as they had planned on. So, man, it's keeping the channel very interesting. I appreciate that. I'm trying. I'm doing I'm doing the best I can with all of this. Um, trying to stay motivated as best as I can. I'm trying to stay consistent as, consistent as best I can. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Obviously, I can do a little bit better, but I'm rolling with the punches of life and you know, and a life, a personal life and the life of a YouTuber, which ain't easy. So this guy, Douglas Summer. I am retiring from my first career and want to do what you're doing. God bless you and your family. That's peace. What do you mean by you want to do what I'm doing? Like, are, you, are you referring to YouTubing? Are you referring to you know getting into the transportation business and doing some trucking? Or professional driving, as we say? Um, I'm curious as to what you mean. I really do appreciate you tuning in. And uh, bless. Blessings to your, you and yours. <laughs> Resale soda, bro. Got the basic training bag on the real. You ain't lying. I read that the other day. I was dying. I'm just now addressing it, obviously. But I appreciate you, man. You be commenting. I know you've been been on the channel for a while, so I appreciate you. I appreciate your uh, your comments and all that. That shit made me laugh. But yeah, that was um, obviously some type of military bag, probably army, whatever. I think I got it from my pops. He was in the army, so. Uh, let's see. Here's another question about PTI. Do you bobtail to your house or leave truck and trailer somewhere? Um, it's very rare that I'm a bobtail to the crib. Um, especially by me living where I live in Memphis. It's it's a lot of freight in and out of here in this area. Not just Memphis, but in the surrounding areas as well. Surrounding states as well. Um, so 95, 99% of the time I'm coming home with a trailer. Sometimes it's empty. Sometimes it's full, um, but I don't think I've ever bobtailed home. Um, they have um, a yard that they pay for, so if I did, whenever I did come home, I did have a yard not too far away from the crib that was um, that has a security guard to it and shit. So it's definitely um, secure. Answer: No fridge. PTI does not have refrigerators. They have the you know space for you to put your own in there. 
The same thing with the TV. They have a space and amount for you to put your own TV in there, but they do not provide those. Whereas Hertzbach on the other end, the other side, I should say, they provide refrigerators and they provide uh, internet access and they provide a TV and they provide a microwave. So all I need is my bedding and my little tools and you know my little ins and outs that I got personally. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm good to go, which I appreciate it too, man, because I am getting need to. I haven't yet, but I need to get more serious on this diet. Um, I need to eat better. Stop doing the depressed eating. I ain't gonna make no excuses. It is what it is. I've been slacking. Um, not super slacking because I have been making some juices. Um, been doing my smoothies and shit, but um, eating bullshit in the meantime between time as well. So I kind of have a mix of eating bullshit and eating good. So um, coming into this next phase of my trucking career. I'm going into there working out more and eating better. But stay tuned for all that. That's that's coming up in the future vlogs. So, yep, no fridge. Not for PTI, at least. For Hershbach, yes. Here you go, bro, J family. No, not the caravan. I bet ride roll smooth. Yes, sir. I didn't pick the uh, minivan. I picked, um, initially, they had me have, like, a little small car. But... I didn't want to um, be cramped, and I wanted something with a little bit more power, so um, I opted to have the next tier of car, but I guess they didn't have the car that I picked. They gave me a minivan. They either didn't have it, or they wanted to keep that car for people that was going to stay local and just get rid of the minivan out the city, because it was a one-way rental, uh, which I ain't tripping shit. I got plenty of space, and that bad boy's fast. It had all the commodities, heated seats, um, everything was digital. It was nice. I ain't even going to lie. It was nice definitely not my style but i knew i was getting rid of it the next day uh my grandma on here that's my grandson <laughs> that's funny so here this is what i was referring to earlier this is douglas summer sorry man fmcsa is out of control stay strong you will succeed they could have told you that you needed more than three months on your car before you went like i said i addressed that already they did um it's just my my recent past physical issues is why I had to I, I wasn't able to get my medical car right then and there so no biggie I'm in the game back in the mix uh yeah get in the comments man I'm gonna I'm gonna stay consistent with these I won't do these all the time but whenever I got a little downtime and action or whatever I will pull these comments out and address them on camera it is hard to keep up with everything that I need to do on a personal level, everything I need to do as far as a YouTuber, family, all that, and reply to all these damn comments. It's like even reading them off is making this video a decent little amount of time, you feel me? And I ain't reading every one of them off, shit, it's, it's even more. Chris B. Music, I haven't tapped on your channel in a while, but I'm glad to see you still grinding, much respect. Shit, what you thought? Think I'm not when I am? Grinding is in my blood. Shit, I've been grinding since middle school. On the real. Shit, honestly, I take that back. Since elementary school, washing cars and selling candy and shit. Like, I've been hustling. Hustling since been hustling. Uh, Prime has a pretty good lease program. I've been watching some um some uh, other vloggers. I've been watching their vlogs on Prime. They saying good. That was definitely um, another option that I was going to look into. But I stopped at Hershbach. I didn't stop all my research at Hershbach, but I, I chose Hershbach because of that 99 cents a, a, a gallon um, incentive of fuel, as well as watching other people's vlogs, how they feel about the company. And um, I just felt confident with it. Talking to a recruiter, I felt confident with it. Doing all my research, um, reading, as well as videos, I felt confident. So, Prime is definitely uh, something else that can be a potential option in the future. But honestly, I'm hoping everything just works out good with Hershbach. Because the next stage in my plan is to get a truck. I may or may not be driving that truck. I'm thinking I'll stay doing what I'm doing, get a truck, and hire somebody to drive it. We'll see. Stay tuned for all that, though. Your boy, like I said, your boy got some plans, man. I ain't really 
indulged not indulged what's the word i haven't uh, revealed many of my plans i just kind of let them unfold on the vlog but your boy got some plans i just gave you a little sneak listen to one of them but uh that's not even all the majors so stay tuned for all that man I think that's it for now it is starting to get cool it's like 60 something degrees today yesterday was in the 40s today in the 60s Ugh, but it's getting later in the day and it's starting to get chilly let me get in the crib thanks for tuning thanks for rocking thanks for being part of the mob man you want to be part of the mob hit that like button and that subscribe button and uh ban the notification bell because i am Consistent on this channel, and I have the realest blog on YouTube. No ifs, ands, or buts. I holla. Peace.